Michael Gymnasium. We're proud to bring you once again the Intramural Basketball Championships at North Carolina State University. Hi there, everybody. I'm Drew Blevins, joined by Brett Galt. We've got a good one here in the graduate faculty and staff final between the Nooners in red and Strictly Financial in black. Brett, the Nooners have been here before. Strictly Financial, a relative newcomer to the party, but it should be a good one to kick things off here on Championship Wednesday. Nooners coming in at 6-0, but not as many players as Strictly Financial are coming in 5-1, so I'm expecting a good competitive match here, but we'll see. Adrian Collins will tip off against Matthew Stemmark as we are about set to go. The ball is up in the air, the Nooners have it, and away we go with a graduate faculty and staff final from Carmichael Gymnasium. Immediately taken by the Nooners. So far this season, the Nooners have been nothing short of tremendous, averaging 58 points for and 48.8 points against, and already a quick bucket there. This is Strictly Financial who takes over possession of the ball. This is Ronga who goes inside, and we've tied the game 2-2. Two to two. Very nice start for both teams, capitalizing on the opening possession offensively. Nooners will set this one up. They'll go to the inside portion. On the post, the pass is deflected away. Battle for the basketball underneath. Shot too strong, rebounded, and brought back in the opposite direction by Jonathan Macon. Macon drives the bucket, kicks it out. A little bunny hop off the back rim, rebounded by the Nooners. Quickly pushed up the floor. To the bucket they go, the drive, and they score. Good opportunity in transition, and once again, the Nooners have the lead. Good quick passer by the Nooners coming into this game. A tough match against chemistry earlier in the playoffs. Must have not had enough chemistry for that one. Manan Desai gets it across the timeline, just in time, goes inside, the layup is missed. That's already a pair of layups that's been missed, and that's an especially tough one to swallow for Jonathan Macon. At the top of the key, the Nooners are hold possession, no shot clock. They'll go inside. The shot is up and too strong off of the fingertips of Adrian Collins. He's going to be tough to guard down there. Draws a foul even though he missed the bucket. Collins to the line for two. Towering presence at the stripe. First shot is good. Adrian Collins in the Nooners for free throw number two. And that one rims out. Rebounded by Gary Comstock. He's the captain of this team. Comstock drives, hands it back up to the top. Controlled, if only for a moment. Pardon, rather, that was not Comstock. I apologize. That was Humini. Nooners. Excellent defense. This one saved at the time stripe, but only as it goes up in the air. Charlie C. could not handle it. Good hustle there by Charlie C. Strictly Financial trying to stop the hemorrhaging. They're down three. Jonathan Macon puts it up. It's too strong. Rebounded by Collins, and the Nooners will set things up. A little lofted pass inside. Collins driving excellent defense and a staunch block by Stenmark. Headman pass the other way toward Humini. A lot of contact back to Stenmark. Desai sends it low. Macon, awkward shot, too strong. Rebound is long. Desai thought about his shot. Gives to Macon. The three ball rims out. Macon ice cold to start the ball game. Not quite four minutes gone by. The score five to two in favor of the Nooners. Driven in to the paint, off the front rim. Rebound, bounces around. Collins inside, he's a force. That ball is out of bounds, knocked out of his possession. Nooners ball. If you want an offensive game so far, you're not going to get it right here. I'm going to make a bold prediction. I don't think any team this evening, perhaps with the exception of the men's co-rec final, I don't think anybody's touching 70. You don't think so? It's going to be interesting. It doesn't look like this team so far, either team will reach 40 the rate we're going. Inside of the paint, the layup is good. 
Jermaine Williams puts that one in. Williams has had a very nice night so far with four points. Manan Desai will carry it back ahead. Desai stops and hands off. Shot on the way from Humini. Misses. Rebounded by the Nooners. So far it has been all Nooners. Chris Mays will get credit for that rebound. Jermaine William spinning and gyrating. Loses it strong off the backboard. Pulled back down and coming in the opposite direction. Ranga stops to Desai. Across for Macon. His three ball is off. Pull back down by Charlie C. Headman pass. It's strong. Williams to the hoop. He scores. Jermaine Williams getting it done, and it's 9-2 Nooners who are on a 7-0 run. Macon. Ranga now. He looks long. Air balls it. Easy rebound. Christopher Mays. Lofts it inside. Charlie C. under the bucket. The layup is missed. Macon with the rebound. It looks like Strictly Financial wants to get some subs in as their bench is standing. They need to get something going right as far as Macon. It's just awful they've thrown once up, again. They've thrown up enough bricks to build a new gym already. Williams drives in. He's fouled by Ranga. He'll go to the line for two. It's just been ice-cold shooting so far for Strictly Financial, though. They've had opportunities and decent looks, just nothing's been falling. They yeah, have. Macon's had a few opportunities of himself. But uh, I think the news are just going to be too big down low for Strickland Financial. The foul is on Ranga. His first team second as Williams drains it to make it 10-2 for the Nooners. And a full-scale line change coming in here for Strictly Financial. We'll see if this stops the bleeding. Jonathan Macon is going to be the only young man to stay in the ball game as he's down to the low post right side. Nooners even have more of a height advantage here. Free throw missed. Pulled down by Nick James, and he'll walk it back up the floor. Finds a teammate, Mitchell Johnson. Downstairs they go. Drive to the paint. Layup no good. Opposite direction. Jermaine Williams ahead of everybody. Fouled, and he'll go back to the line. As James will pick up the foul. These are tough to... Guard on the fast break there. They've had so many chances. The transition game has been nothing short of spectacular so far for the Nooners. 12.55 to go in the first half. Nooners 10, strictly financial 2. Williams back to the stripe. Misses strong. And this really isn't going to deter the strictly financial team from playing with some major physicality. We're going to see a timeout called here by the Nooners, and they'll regroup. But so far, this is a Nooners team that's been willing to drive the hole, and if they had been making their free throws at a more consistent rate, this could already be out of hand. Yeah, I mean, the way that Strictly Financial is playing, it might already be out of hand by. They have not been able to get any offense going. Nooners are too big when they go to the hoop, and they're going to have to, get, they're going to, have to start hitting their outside shots, that's for sure. Well, the outside game just hasn't been there. Nobody has made a triple so far in this game. A majority of the points have been scored on fast break layups by the Nooners. They're up 10-2 to here with 12.40 to go in this first half. Timeout called by the team at Red, the Nooners. If you're strictly financial right now, what are you saying to yourselves? Just got to keep on shooting. I know it sounds kind of cliche, but you're going to have to keep on shooting, and hopefully one will go in. The, the thing they have going for them is Nooners only have – with two subs, so fatigue could play an issue here. And I'm not sure if you're going to see Barry Leinberger play here at all as he's functioning more as the coach for right now. He already looks like he's played a whole game. Hey, warm-ups are tough. Yeah. Williams at the stripe. Second half is no good either. He misses them both. A little bit of trouble brewing here. Move quickly forward across the time stripe with Ricky McCoy. Goes across the way to James. Pulls up from the stripe. He misses strong. Charlie C with the rebound. Here come the Nooners once again. C drives. Tried the acrobatic pass. And he's going to get called for a charge here as he ramrodded Ricky McCoy. Yeah, just got out of, out of control right there. Got up in the air and didn't know what to do with it. Macon will put the ball in play here for Strictly Financial. 
We'll see if that starts anything going. McCoy turns it up for Jonathan Macon, who's been the primary shooter on this team. McCoy. Well defended, goes inside. A jumping floater misses. Rebounded. James has it. Pulls up. Misses again. A lid on the rim right now for Strictly Financial. To Macon for three. No, he misses it too strong. Weinberger pulls it back down for Collins. Neuters will bring it back. Shot rims in and out. Strictly Financial trying to go for broke here. McCoy for three. No. Ten fifty three to go. Seven outside shots attempted. All seven have missed. None of them have really been close. <laughs> I apologize, sports fans. <laughs> Neuters with possession. <laughs> Charlie C with it. He pulls up from three, misses just too strong. Collins brings it back down. Collins has really been a force inside so far, though, in all seriousness. He, well, no, what, he's got about a six, six inch, seven inch advantage. I was going to say, nobody from Strictly Financial really has anybody to guard him down low, so he can pretty much have all he wants down low. Williams checks back into the ball game for C here. We got uh, Barry entering. Barry Leinberger does get his playing time here. He'll go inside. I saw his uh, pregame warm-up, and his jump shot was pretty good. Very good jump shot. Dangerous threat on the outside. And so far, it's a smaller lineup. Williams drives to the bucket. Off the rim and good. Jermaine Williams gets it to go. It's 12-2 in favor of the Nooners. Williams wanted a foul there as well. Wanted the and one. Strictly financial. McCoy driving in. Puts up the layup. Drew contact, no foul. Strictly financial with another offensive board. Outside, James thought about it, goes to McCoy. The jumper misses strong. Rebounded by Leinberger. Collins. Outside, thought about the three. The shot is good. Foot on the line, it's only a two. Chris Mays puts it in. 14 to 2 in favor of the Nooners. Look at the big guy calling, dribbling off the floor. To the outside, Mitchell Johnson. Good! Finally, the long ball falls for Strictly Financial. 14 to 5, breaking the cold streak. They haven't scored since the first minute of the ball game. Nearly a full 10 minute drought. Lineberger. Sends it to Jermaine Williams, who goes inside. His layup is good. Williams really starting to rack up the point totals. He's been solid. Yeah, nobody can guard him right now. He's been able to get whatever he wants and near the basket. Ranga, three, yes! And all of a sudden, Strictly Financial starting to hit a couple threes. If they can continue that, they'll be right back in this game. Well, all it looks like is they needed a couple more minutes of warm up. Back to back, three balls made. Well, they, were, they were warming up 45 minutes before the game. Williams going inside, draws a foul. A ball will stay with the Nooners. And I do not believe this will be a shooting foul. foul. Nick James is going to get whistled for the foul. That's his second, team's fourth. I guess they did give him the shooting foul. Surprised it didn't look like he was going up there. It didn't look like he had possession of the ball. Jonathan Macon's going to come back into the ball game. And Barry Griffith, the team captain, is going to get his first minutes as well. 
Seven minutes to go in the first half. 16 to eight, the Nooners on top of Strictly Financial. Williams misses. Williams is killing himself from the line. Could have about four or five more points. Still a single deficit, single point margin. Going to see a blocking foul called here. I believe that's going to go against Collins. Macon driving to the hole hard. Foul is on number four, Darius Mosley. Hard, and they're actually going to get Darius Mosley for that one. Only Mosley's first, Macon with a pair at the line. First one falls. Thing is, if this strictly financial team is going to be able to draw fouls and get to the line, if they're going to shoot this consistently, they could very well find themselves back in the contest. I mean, to make it a two possession game. They're shooting, what do you think, probably 20% from the field right now. They have a chance to only be down six right now. Another free throw falls for Macon. 16 10. Lineberger. Kicks it back for Williams. He drives into the paint, jumps, layup, good. Williams. Jermaine Williams doing it all right now. Other way, Macon, layup, in and out. I think Williams got a fingertip to it. There's the man of the hour, Jermaine Williams. Puts it up. Finally misses. Didn't think you were going to see a miss out of him for the rest of this half. Macon brings it ahead. Stuck in the bigs. Taranga, the shot, falls. Antonio Rongo. Rongo puts it in. 18 to 12. Still a six-point game. Doesn't quite feel like it, but strictly financial just kind of hanging around. They're starting to get their shots a little bit more. Hey. Uh, Big drive to the hole, and Darius Mosley scores. We're starting to see a little back and forth action after we saw pretty much no action the first 10 minutes or so. Ronga's got it. Pulls up from three. Just misses off the front rim. All of a sudden, the strictly financial team is really starting to dial it in. Ronga's going to get it again. He's going to kick it back out to Mitchell Johnson, the point guard. Macon hadn't been afraid to pull the trigger. Doesn't get a chance to here. Trying to dribble through all five guys. Could not do it. Long pass for Williams. Driving in from the baseline. Loses possession. Gets it back. Layup no good. Offensive board misses two. Ranga jumping out of bounds. He tried to call a timeout. He could not do it. His feet were not on the floor. Out of bounds. Last week financial news ball to the sideline. I'm surprised Ranga didn't look to throw that ball back out. He had plenty of air time. Yeah. It's not like his back was facing towards the uh, court either. Ball inbounded here to Gary Comstock. Gives inside Williams. Mosley for three. Short. Williams offensive board. Spins too strong. Mosley rebounds. Couldn't get it to go. Little trap defense. This could give strictly financial numbers the other way. Pushed outside. Ranga drives to the hole, passes off, and a foul in the paint. Really unselfish play there by Ranga. Could have had the shot, but decided to pass to his teammate, and now they're going to be shooting two at the free throw line. Gary Comstock whistled for the foul. Too strong. At the line is Carter Roberts. Bucket falls. 20 to 13 on a seven point game. The last two minutes are timed under high school rules, which means the clock will stop. Williams keeps it inside. He's got Collins. Collins driving, intercepted. Macon. Other direction, he's got numbers, fires it across. Perhaps one too many passes, shot never came off the fingertips of anybody, it's taken away. Mosley ahead, Collins lays it in. Adrian Collins. It's a good opportunity for Strick by Financial, and then it ended up costing them. One too many passes, the three, short rim. Darius Mosley's gonna get some space. 
Two minutes to go in the first half, 22 to 13. Williams drives in, lays it off the iron, pulled back down by Strictly Financial's Ranga. He'll stop, eaves down to Macon, intercepted. Williams, he's got Collins with him, finds him, Collins driving, floor foul. Basket is no good. The Neaters just been, have been too much in the transition game. Strictly Financial not doing a good job of getting back. We have a timeout here. Timeout called by Strictly Financial. They trail the Nooners 22 to 13. Minute and 23 seconds to go here in the first half of this one. What's been the difference so far that have allowed the Nooners to be so good? Well, I think the uh, they definitely have the hot advantage. They've been getting a lot of offensive rebounds in their, their transition game. The thing that really killed Strictly Financial is the, what, 12 minute drought there? That they weren't able to score anything, nothing was falling, and then they've kind of got a little bit of groove here, but they just got so far down that it's hard to come back when you come back from that deficit. Jermaine Williams also has been a big difference maker so far. He's in double figure scoring. What does it take for Strictly Financial to be able to find a way to stop him? Get back in transition. You got to move the ball. They haven't really taken care of the ball that great there on the side either. And just make shots. That's pretty much the thing. And I don't think their shooting percentage is exactly what they want right now. Well, looking back at the fast break, uh, excuse me, fast break sequence, just 30 seconds ago, did you think there was one too many passes there? If oh, you yeah. were Jonathan Macon, would you have gone ahead and taken the shot? Yeah. Too much uh, unselfish play. Sometimes you just got to be selfish if you have the shot instead of passing it up. Well, nobody's going to complain if you can find a way to win yourself a championship T-shirt. No trophy, no gold, no rings. Just another piece of fabric to put in the closet, but believe me, it is a prized possession. Inside and a good pass to Williams. Scores and one. There he goes once again. Nobody has, Trick Financial has not been able to have anybody guard him. Rongo will get called for the foul. Sixth team foul, he and Nick James both have a pair. I can see why the clock is running right now. Uh, it's the last two minutes of the game that was told uh, under high school rules, just not just the half. half. Which falls under basketball rules outside of the free throw, of course. 45 seconds to go in the first half. Nooners with a 12 point lead. Desai goes inside, Roberts to Desai. He's rejected by Darius Mosley. Quality block. Ranga. Guarded closely by Mosley. Inside to Macon. 25 seconds to go. Macon. Spinning jumper. Gets it to fall. Back to a 10 point deficit at 25 to 15. 15 seconds to go in the half. Mosley. Stops to Williams. Loses it. Ranga to the hoop. Lays it off too strong. The rebound put back is there. First points of the game for Barry Griffith. Three seconds, two, Williams from half court, too strong, there's the half. Well, the Nooners thought they were going to go into halftime with a double digit lead. They do not after a turnover from Darius Mosley. The score at halftime, strictly financial, down to the Nooners, 25 to 17. Brett, what'd you see in that first half? I saw a lot of poor shooting, one thing, but uh, we started to see a little momentum from both teams. Shots started to be made, so I think we're gonna see a good second half here. It'll be very exciting to see if the Nooners can keep the throttle down. Five minute halftime break, we'll take it with them. This is the Intramural Basketball Championships on PAC TV. Welcome back to NC State's Carmichael Gymnasium. The Nooners with the lead over Strictly Financial in the graduate faculty, staff, and alumni championship intramural basketball game, 25 to 17 to score. Ball be put in play here by Ranga. From the timeline. As soon as the ball's put in play, the clock starts, and away we go. Strictly Financial looking to get their shooting game going, showed signs of life late. There's a turnover to start the half. You also got to think that the Nooners, they missed a lot of free throws during the first half. They could easily be up by double digits. Well, they missed six free throws, and 
right now. That's victimizing them in the slight way that they aren't up by as many as they could be. Mosley thought about the three. Gives across for Jermaine Williams. Comstock, Williams. Collins, driving, lays it too strong. Rebounded, kicks out, and Manon Desai has it. Driving in, lays it up, and good. And all of a sudden, it's a six-point game, and there are some leakages and crackages showing in the game of the Nooners. By the way, this one started. You never thought we would see a six-point deficit. Williams gives it to Comstock. Back for Williams. Mosley for three. Oh, yes. Wow. The big guy with a nice little shot there. Darius Mosley has quietly been having himself a championship game. Looks strong. Manan Desai kicks it low. To the top and back. Three ball on the way, splash town. Matt Stenmark gets it to go. 28 to 22, we're back to a six point game. And what started off, in all honesty, is quite comical, has turned into a good basketball game. Both teams are starting to make a, their shots and we're kind of seeing back and forth action, which is what you love if you're a basketball fan. Two minutes gone by in the second half. 28-22, Nooners lead. Nooners ball. Three on the way. This one off the outside of the rim. Inside, Williams pulls down the board and is fouled going up. He'll shoot a pair, but thus far he has been ice cold from the line. That is called number 64, Matthew. He's been able to get to the line though, which is the key, but he's gotta start making his free throws if the Nooners want to extend their lead here. First one's good. They look like a little better form there, followed through. Well, Williams went to the line during the halftime break and worked on his form a little bit. That one's short rim though, rebound to Collins. He's not a bad guy to have down there, but he misses. The rebound falls, Charlie C puts it in. It's, it's almost unfair having Collins down there. Macon drives in, misses off the rim. Collins, rebound, Williams, here he goes. And it falls. 11 point game. Nooners have ballooned it back out. Little trap defense. Ronga gets out of it with a little bit of help from Macon. Macon steps in from the charity stripe. Air ball, rebound, misses. Back to the cold shooting spree for Strictly Financial. Williams. Haven't seen him pull up for the J, but he drives it. Why do you need to shoot the jumper when you can do that? I was going to say, he doesn't need to pull up for the J. He's been able to drive to the basket all game. Well, he's a slippery little snake. Ranga for three. Just does miss. Headman pass. Williams like a wide receiver, but he misses. That was a perfectly lofted pass, too. Numbers for financial. Macon. Awkward layup. Manon Desai with the rebound. Lifts it up. He misses. I think he might have been intimidated by Adrian Collins standing right there. Which is respectable. Collins could have swatted it right back down his throat. Charlie C. <laughs> off angle. I mean, when you look at Adrian Collins, you are looking at a jolly green giant clothed in red. And good luck getting over him, or around him for that matter. We saw what he can do on the fast break. He can even bring up the ball. Timeout will be called here by the Nooners. 15.27 to go in the second half. They'll take the timeout on the floor, and we'll take it with them. We'll be right back with the intramural championship game between the Nooners and Strictly Financial after this. Ball be put in play here by the Nooners. They're up 35-22. to 22. Long shot on the way. Oh, yes! Adrian Collins from way downtown, 38 to 22, and the Nooners are ballooning it. Nice little form there by the big guy. This team can stroke the long ball. This one's starting to get a little out of hand. Just kind of waiting for it, Jermaine Williams. He is going to pull up, but he misses. 
he got pretty high on that shot. Johnson having to go against a brick wall defense. Drives in at the baseline, loses it, ball to the Nooners. He just ran into a brick wall right there. Thought he got fouled, but they're going to give the ball to the Nooners. Mosley Williams, three ball on the way, off the back iron. Darius Mosley, hard fought offensive board. To Williams, driving, lost it, gets it back. He kicks it outside. He was looking for Mays. Inside they go, elbow swinging, Mosley kicks it outside. This is Adrian Collins. Mosley, Collins, Mays, three, misses, rebound. Williams has it. Is that the third or fourth offensive rebound here in this possession? Nooners are playing keep away more than basketball right now. Mays to Mosley, triple. Misses, Charlie C pulls down the board. Double teamed and fouled. Nooners dominating the offensive rebound. Foul call number nine. Mitch it's only the first game of the intramural championship Wednesday. So far it has been all Nooners. Barry Leinberger will come back in. Williams. To the hole, fouled. Really, these, this is only proving just how good Jermaine Williams is of a basketball player. These aren't fouls based on laziness. This is a foul where you can't contain him, you gotta hack him. He's just too, too quick. Aaron pass, strictly financial with a break. Strictly financial, needing to invest in a little bit more offense, and hopefully they're going to get some returns. Inside, there's a quality pass. The layup falls. Didn't look like it was anything special initially, but it works. That's a nice little cut there. Had the wide open lay-in. Williams got caught behind. Driving inside. And I believe the Nooners are going to keep possession of the ball. Out of bounds, I'll see you financial. Nooners ball to base on. Mays. Finds Williams. He'll set it up. <laughs> Driving in. Charge. Strictly Financial will get another chance. Down 14 with 11.50 to go in the second half. Johnson, outside, three ball on the way, misses. And Collins pulls down the board after playing volleyball with it. Driving in. Collins tried to do it all himself. It's pulled back down by Nick James. Strength financial. Teammates on the sideline telling them to move it quick. Three ball misses. Three point game has been spotty at best. Williams will waste a little bit more time here. Collins. Working inside, pulls up Jay, oh yes! Very nice play by Adrian Collins. The little step back jumper goes. Driven inside, trying to draw contact on the play, unsuccessfully doing so was Ricky McCoy. We're gonna see a blocking foul called here on McCoy. Tell you what, Collins can do everything. And step back we saw, we can pull up for the three, you can dribble the ball. That's what you like there in a big man. Barry Leinberger is going to direct a little bit of traffic. Barry Comstock's going to come in. Leinberger to Comstock. They might be the most senior gentlemen that we'll see in today's contests. Doesn't mean they're any less skilled, though. Mays. Leinberger, 
Sends it down to Comstock, who finds Collins. Step back jumper. Misses just barely. Macon brings it forward. Jonathan Macon hustling forward. Drive to the rack. Rejected by Charlie C. McCoy got to handle the pass. Another chance for Strictly Financial. Shot misses. Nick James with a rebound. Pulls up himself. The bank shot no good. Battle for the ball. James pulls it down. Misses again. Charlie C. with the board. Strictly Financial. A flurry of opportunities, none of which fell. 40 to 24, the Nooners lead, nine minutes to go. Inside to Charlie, Charlie C, yes. C. James, inside, Macon, good in the foul. Charlie C with a foul. Nice pass by James, he knew he had the shot there, but nice little bounce pass to Macon for the easy two, and chance at a three point play here. I believe we're gonna see a timeout called here. Most certainly we will, a strictly financial. Trying to go for broke here. Timeout on the floor, we'll take it with him. This is the Intramural Championships on Pack TV. Free throws coming for strictly financials, Jonathan Macon. Jonathan Macon at the line, strictly financials. Shooting nice points. shoes from Macon though, with Nike kicks. First shot is good. Only shot as good as he was going for the and one, Barton. 42-27. Who's Durant's? I don't know much about basketball shoes, honestly. Inside, Collins fouled. Nick James trying to get up. James easily giving up seven, eight inches of height to Adrian Collins. It's just, it's honestly just not fair. No, it's like having a train out there. Engine number 62, rumbling in. Makes the free throw. And you look at this team, there, there are some big guys on this Nooner squad, and that has helped them tremendously. Yeah, excuse me, tremendously. There's some big guys, and you think they're just down low guys, but they can step out for the three, as we've seen, and hand the ball with great skill. Macon loses it. Collins to Mays. Driving in to the top, intercepted. Lineberger, he'll get whistled for the foul. Foul is called number zero, Barry Lineberger. His first, his third. Lineberger's first foul, Mosley will come in. Check this, the ball game for Nooners, number 45, Jermaine Williams, number four, James Mosley. Three ball. Yes! Three, Barry four, Griffith three, gets it to fall. Three, Don't three, count out Strictly Financial yet. They need some more of those threes if they want to get back in this. Need to find a way to stop the guy who has the ball right now. Williams to C. Mays. Inside, intercepted. James sidesteps his man. Kicks it outside. It's too hot to handle. Carter Roberts couldn't hang on to the pass. You hate to see that on a four-on-one right there. Three other options and it's thrown away. Edman pass. That time Roberts makes up for it. To James. Roberts laying good. And I believe we're going to see a timeout. Nope, just a substitution. Williams. Working on James, drives. A little bit of double team defense there in the paint. Williams, stepping in and out to Mays. Charlie C, pulls up, gets it to fall. That's a bigger bucket than it might look like as that stops the scoring rush from Strictly Financial. And yeah, just when you thought Strictly Financial had a little bit of momentum there. An offensive board results in a bucket for Roberts. I think you're starting to see fatigue set in here for the Nooners. We'll see if they have a little more left with them in five minutes, 45 seconds left here in the game. Time dwindling now on Strictly Financial. C misses, rebounded, 
easily by Adrian Collins. Using that big body to get space. His shot might have been tipped, though. C rebound. Loses it. Manon Desai lost it back to Charlie C. Catastrophic turn of events there. Ricky McCoy is going to check back in. Williams working on James. Williams to the bucket. Foul. Five minutes to go, second half. Still no answer for Williams here. Just too shifty with the ball. Call number 62, Carter Roberts, his third, team six in the second half. Roberts whistled for the foul. Jermaine Williams to the stripe for a pair. First shot rattles home. 13 point game. Number 41, Nikolai Gritta. And number 41, Ricky McCoy. The ball. Nikolai Gritta will come into the game. We'll see what this does for Strictly Financial. Front rim shot no good, 13 point game. Manon Desai. Quickly forward, pulls up the jumper, air balled, rebound, not strong enough. McCoy is fouled. Into the free throw line we go. Fouls really aren't hurting the Nooners right now, though, just based on the fact that the clock is going to continue to run until we get to two minutes. I think we're going to have a timeout here by Sugar Financial, but they've had so many easy shots there right by the basket, and cannot capitalize on any of them, and that's what's killed them so far here. Really is unfortunate for Strictly Financial. This is not a bad basketball team. It's just a very unlucky one right now. 3.56 to go in the second half. We'll be right back with a thrilling conclusion to the grad faculty and staff intramural basketball game on Pack tv after this. This remains in this one. The Nooners, 47, Strictly Financial, 34. It's been a good ball game so far, and the fact that it's been close. Ricky McCoy can bring it to an 11 point game nothing but nylon it's one thing that can't be said about strictly financial though Brett Gold it is the fact that they are out shooting the Nooners from the line as another one falls strictly financial creeping back into contention 11 point game Starting to see a sort of press there in the half court, but back off. Williams had it, lost it. Rebounded by Strictly Financial. McCoy to James. Three ball. Short rims it. Rebound loose. McCoy loses it to Mosley, to Williams, and he'll kill some time. Big opportunity there by Strictly Financial. Had two guys under the basket, both on the same team, and they gave it up to the Nooners. Collins inside, wide open, and the foul. That's just good, Jermaine Williams. Jermaine Williams does it again. And he can make it 50 for the Nooners right here with a made free throw. Silly foul there by Strictly Financial. He had the easy two. Anyway, now they're going to give him a chance to get three here at the line. His first, seventh in the second half. Jermaine Williams on line, shooting one. Williams has been the backbone of this team so far tonight. Gets the free one. Desai. Ranga for three. Off the front rim. Desai with the rebound. Lays it home. 12-point game. Good news for the Nooners is, is there's no shot clock in Intramural. Mosley to the hole. Fouled on the way up. And we will have the second half run down into that stoppage time frame. 50 to 38 to score. Two minutes to go exactly. First free throw is good. It's been a valiant effort by Strictly Financial, but a couple of unkind bounces off the iron might just victimize them in the end.
Front rimmed, rebounded. Collins pulls it down. And now a little bit of salt. But a pass intercepted. Macon for three. No. Rebounded by the Nooners. Gary Comstock pulled it down, turned it over. Three ball, misses. Ronga loses possession. This ball is going to go to the Nooners. Williams brings it forward, 90 seconds to go. Lays it in and is fouled. Just being able to take it to the basket at a will. Nobody has had any answer for him on Strictly Financial. He's just been at it all day. He's got to have about probably 18 to 20 points at least of the 53 so far here in this game for the Nooners. Williams to try for three the old-fashioned way. Gets it. The bank was open. That's one way to get your three-point play. Not necessarily the prettiest, but functional. Inside, layup. Rattles home. Matt Stenmark gets it to fall. Collins. Comstock. He'll hold. Darius Mosley in trouble to Gary Comstock. Inside Jermaine Williams. Turns, heads for the basket, and gets it to go. 56 to 40. Antonio Ranga. Unselfish play, gets the three to fall. John Humaney gets it to go. Headman pass to Williams. Tracks it down, 35 to go. The Nooners are going to win, once again, another intramural championship. Doesn't really matter at this point what happens. Layup good. 11-point game, 20 seconds to go. Headman pass, intercepted. Things could get more interesting than initially intended. Ronga goes inside, pass blocked away. Gary Comstock will hold. He's going to dribble it out as best he can. He's just going to get across the timeline. He will. The buzzer will sound. The Nooners have won the championship. And that's the ball game. Your final score. Nooners the Nooners 56. Strictly financial 45. And a very, very good basketball game to start things off here on Intramural Championship Wednesday. We saw a few missed shots that victimized Strictly Financial, but overall the Nooners led by the performance of their leading scorer, Jermaine Williams, a lot to handle. Yeah, Financial just had no answer there for Williams. They got off to the rough start and really couldn't come back from it at all. The Nooners were pretty solid throughout the game, and that's why they're going to go home with the championship. We've got three more intramural championship games coming your way this evening. Signing off for Brett Galt, I'm Drew Blevins. We hope to see you back for the rest of Intramural Championship Wednesday. Until then, we hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed it, bringing it to you. The final score, the Nooners 56, strictly financial 45. Congratulations to the graduate faculty, staff, and alumni champion, Nooners. Next up is the sorority championship game. We'll be back on air in about 15 minutes. Until then, for Brett Galt, I'm Drew Blevins. Have a wonderful Wednesday night.